This is what we're going to build today. It's a sugar feeder to sit on top of a Langstroth hive and uh, just made out of half inch plywood, a couple of plastic shoe boxes, and some hardware cloth. All right, let's get started. This board's just here so that I can mark a line out here and I don't have to keep measuring them because I'm actually making four of these today. So now I need two pieces that are 19 and 7 eighths. Okay, these are the shorter boards and I'm going to put a uh, hole in there for ventilation. And I want to make sure, I want them toward the top, but I got to make sure I'm down far enough uh, that I, my telescoping lid doesn't cover them. And it comes down one, well, two inches actually. So, that's an inch, inch and an eighth. So I need to come down from the two inches, I need to come down at least a half inch. So that's going to put me two and a half down. And let's come in just an arbitrary three inches. All right, we'll get that drilled. I'm cutting a dado uh, into the bottom edge of our boards so that um, the uh, bottom board will fit up in there. And this is what we're using for our bottom boards. It's some quarter inch plywood. And so I've used this to get my blade height set. And then I've got about three sixteenths of an inch when I cut it through that'll be left on the side over here. Okay, so I'm going to run these through and then I'll come back, reset the saw, drop it down and do that and that'll cut the rest of the dado out. And then we have to do two of our long boards. All right, now I've got it cut, got it set to cut that little piece off right there. See? Just like that. So here are the sides, and they are five and a half, and that's just one inch taller than your standard plastic shoebox. And that'll give the bees room to climb up, you know, over the top of them. Okay, so these are 19 and 7 eighths long by five and a half. And you actually say, I'm making eight of these today, but you really only need two of those if you're making one. And you need two of these that are five and a half by 15 and a half. And then these, I just made some extra of these that are 15 and a half long, and then I split them in half, like that. And that'll be the boards that come up through the middle like that for the bees to climb up in, into the box. And you will need two of those, like that. All right, let's get, now, and I've cut a dado down through the bottom. All right, let's get this, the, uh, get one put together. Okay, I've marked uh, the center line and then came off one half inch on both sides of the center and that gives me a going to give me a one inch gap. And then I'm going to install these 
on the side with the dado just above the dado on each side of that line so I'll wind up with a one inch gap in between. Alright, that's got that much of our box built. Okay, I'm cutting the uh, bottom panels and I've got my saw set to nine and a quarter inches. All right, so then we need two pieces that are 16 inches long. All right, so now we just put a little glue around. Pop our pieces in. All right, now we're gonna take some eighth inch hardware cloth. staple these in there. Got a coat of paint on here and I've got our two shoe boxes in here. Uh, the last thing I've got to do is get the hardware cloth cut so that the bees can climb in and out of there without drowning. And I need 10 inches. So we need, I need enough to go down behind that right there because I want it to kind of catch like that on that edge. So we'll do that, give it a little bend, bring it down into here. So let's go ahead and do the other one. Now this is some more of that eighth inch hardware cloth that I just made a frame to fit that. And this is three quarters wide, it's half inch thick, and I just made a, a quarter inch lap joint on the corners. But what this does is I can put this on here, put my telescopic cover over the top of that, and so then when it comes to feed them, all I gotta do is raise that cover and the bees can be all in here. I don't have to smoke them or anything. I can just pour some uh, more sugar water down in there. And then you can see I sprayed this black, um, and what that does is you can see how you can see through it. Look at the difference when I put when I put that on there. So when you're out in the yard and the sun is beating down on it, uh, you can't see the bees in there. You can't see what the level is of the sugar water or anything like that. But if you spray it black, um, you can see that. Well, it's early morning, and this is one of the feeders working. Um, <clears throat> and you can see the bees in there working. The, they're, it's early in the morning, so they're just now getting started. But uh, they've been working this really heavy. They've just about gotten these two bins uh, emptied. And I had them, oh, up to about where that white label is. All right, I hope that project was uh, helpful to you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching.